welcome to Ms. Lippert's Social Studies Block 2 panel debate. We will be hearing from patriots and loyalists about their thoughts of the colonies having independence. Now for the founder of both the Correspondence Committees and the Sons of Liberty. He's also a great politician and a true patriot, Samuel Adams. Hello, my name is Samuel Adams and I believe that freedom is best for the colonies. I made a committee that wants freedom. At the Boston Tea Ships, I saw that the British king isn't kidding about his rules. These three people are under the king, and everybody has an opinion, and that's a bad opinion. The British king has very bad laws, and they're telling us that we can only drink British tea, and I hate British tea. And we, we are getting robbed by the king. We make the, mo the money, and we should keep all the money. We need a democratic government and for our country to flourish. So let's ditch the king and start a new life of freedom. And as I said, mankind are governed more by feelings than by reason. Thank you. While arguing for independence, why did you choose to write newspaper articles? Well, I wrote in the newspaper articles because everybody reads the news, and I did that to get the word out about the bad laws of Britain. Or, yeah. Why did you start the committees of correspondence, and what did you hope to accomplish? Well, I created the committees of correspondence because just me fighting for independence would not work so well, so I just got together a bunch of people to help me. And I felt like I accomplished getting the word out. He was the governor of Virginia. He thinks colonists who don't obey the laws are traitors. He attacked Patriot Sums along the Elizabeth River. He thinks fighting for independence will hurt the economy and make the colonists poor. Here he is in person, Lord Dunmore! My fellow colonists, <laughs> I'm Lord Dunmore. I am here to knock some sense in, into you. Do you even know how much damage you would cause in the economy? If you think you can just march right out of Great Britain and create your own country, you're crazy. I shall not just stand here and not do anything about all of you traitors. Great Britain is who actually protects you. You colonists have a duty to respect and obey the laws that Great Britain has enforced. If you even try to fight for independence, you all will be as poor as the hobo sitting outside right now. If you think you're going to get liberty, think again. Did you ever consider that if you didn't burn down the Patriots' homes, we might have um, followed you? I felt like I needed to show you my power and how much power the government of Great Britain has. So that's what I did to make it more serious. Why do we have to follow British laws when we don't even live in Britain? Great Britain is who protects you and has been here for forever. And we are the ones who founded your countries. Therefore, you are going to pay attention and listen to us. Hello. I'm in here to introduce the man who said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. He is a writer, a scientist, a printer, a statesman, and a dip <coughs> diplomat. He switched from a loyalist to a patriot. The man you have all been waiting for, Benjamin Franklin. Hello, my name is Benjamin Franklin. As you all know, I am a writer, printer, inventor, and scientist. I have got some important things to say to you today. I've tried and tried and tried to persuade those stubborn British to have them make fair laws. But you British just won't listen. As you all know, I used to work for the British, but I left for a reason. I left because I heard about the Boston Massacre, and I heard about this taxation without representation. And I went for independence for a reason. This was all unfair. So I say, us Americans deserve independence. I say, we deserve respect. Thank you. Benjamin Franklin, why can't you trust Great Britain since we founded the colonies? Well, we can't just trust the British because if they're making unfair laws, then how can we trust them to, to do the right thing? Why did you choose to be a patriot when at first you were a loyalist? Like I said in my speech, I heard about the tax aces without representation, and I heard about the Boston Massacre, and that was all unfair. And I just thought that um, the Americans should actually deserve independence and govern themselves. Okay. <laughs> Here is the royal governor of Massachusetts. One patriot's hate. They burned his house down and stole money. And he enforces British laws. Here is Thomas Hutchinson. Hello, fellow men and women. We 
We are gathered here today to discuss the feud between patriots and loyalists. In my opinion, I think that Great Britain should rule. The king is older and wiser. He, he knows how to rule a country. They've been doing it for a long time. The colonists, the colonies overseas should not even get the same freedoms as Great Britain. Therefore, if the colonies are their own country, they wouldn't even survive for a year. Thomas, why do you think Great Britain should have better freedoms than the colonists? Because we, we don't, I don't think you should get the same freedoms as the other colonists because we were the ones that founded you, and so you guys need to pay off your debits because you got, we, we founded you. Are you a loyalist because you are, governor, are the governor or because you truly believe in Great Britain's government? I'm a loyalist because I'm the governor and I believe that the Great Britain should rule. If they, they have been ruling for lots a long time and, um, and, and the colonies are new at this game and they never survive. Why do you think the king made you governor? I think the king made me governor because I was a true loyalist and I know how to rule a colony. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. This is the woman born 1728 in Massachusetts. She is smart and is a famous writer and poet. Third of 13 born to James. Please welcome Mercy Otis Warren. Our situation is truly delicate and critical. On one hand, we are in need of a strong federal government founded on the principles that will support the prosperity and union of the colonies. On the other, we have struggled for liberty and made costly sacrifices at her shrine, and there are still many among us who revert her name to much of the relinquish, beyond a certain medium. The rights of man for the dignity of government. Mercy Otis Warren, why do you think that writing and discussing can help you get independence? I think it will help get independence because a lot of people like to read. Yeah. Why do you care if you get independence, you can't even vote being a woman? I care if we get independence because the laws are unfair and that's one of the reasons. The other one is... With the new government, they could change the rules, and one day I believe that women will be able to vote. Why do you write words instead of saying them? I write words because I think it's a better way to reach out to the people. It's sad as it is, most men don't want to listen to women. He is a Christian, and his words are law. He believes a war for independence will hurt you much more than just living with a couple bad laws. He thinks if you live through your parents' rules, you can live through British laws. He is a priest. He is a loyalist. Please welcome Jonathan Boucher. <laughs> Hello, fellas. I am Jonathan Boucher, the priest of the Church of England. Folks, listen up. We need to stay loyal to Great Britain. All you little common people can't run a country. I work the law, and I say disobeying the king is like disobeying God. The Bible says, Stand fast, therefore, in liberty, wherewith Christ has made us free. We found these colonies, and we will protect these colonies. If you want to fight for independence, then you are going bonkers. Living through a couple of nonsensical laws is better than a bloody war. I mean, who in the world wants war? I have been a part of Great Britain for a long time, and I have faith and trust that we will protect the colonists. We have our rights, and I have the right to say that I am a loyalist. Instead of war, why don't you just take away the laws and have peace? Is war better than peace? I do not believe in war, but I will stand up for my beliefs. Why do you carry loaded pistols with you when you give your sermons? So the colonists cannot harm me, even if they try to threaten me. You're accusing us patriots of being ungodly? Well, you loyalists are putting unfair laws on us. Do you think that's ungodly? God gave me these rules. And I, I am just trying to protect the colonists. Yay! <laughs>